Yeah, we good? Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Um, hi, what are you doing today? Um, <laughs> not much to be honest. We actually just came back from Byron Bay. Um, I'm on a like girls weekend, a girls retreat. So we went to Byron in the morning, um, just got back and we've got a little bit of a break before we head to dinner tonight. So I'm just going for a walk up and down the surface, have a look around. Yeah. What's the purpose of a girls retreat? It's sort of a uh, fitness, health, well-being retreat. So we've done lots of seminars about mindset, healthy eating. Uh, we did like a spiritual healing workshop. Uh, we're talking about acupuncture, Chinese medicine. So we've learned about all those things uh, as well. as just had lots of fun. Like all the girls who come from different parts of Australia and overseas as well. None of us knew each other. So it's sort of just a really, you know, a chance for us to bond and spend some time together and step outside of our comfort zone and, you know, spend the weekend with people we haven't met. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel it's important to step outside your comfort zone? Yeah, I think so. I remember one of my teachers a long time ago, well, not really that long ago, a few years ago, uh, showed me a Venn diagram and it was two exclusive, you know, diagrams and it said, your comfort zone and where the magic happens. And they were just completely on opposite sides of the page. And uh, yeah, I think so too. I think you need to push yourself to be able to grow. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, is there a certain way that you feel you want to grow? Uh, not specifically, I guess. I think it's always um, just challenging yourselves in you know, your areas, challenging yourselves, trying new things to find your passion, uh, and then having the courage, which is a challenge, to follow that passion, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm here for, I've been here for two years and a half in Australia. Started off with a work in holiday visa. Then I did my second work in holiday visa, and now I'm on a partner visa. Uh, engaged with an uh, Australian girl. Beautiful. Uh, and we're living here in the coast now, working here. Oh. I'm a barman here. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm about to start my shift in 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, enjoy this life. It's better than Italy at the moment because uh, we ain't got many opportunities back home and it's quite hard to find a job on a contract and kind of hard to have security. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard um, there's lots of economic trouble in Italy. Oh yeah, there is actually, there is, the, and you know, like, for what I think, the most part, and it's my colleagues just, <laughs> um, yeah, for the most part, most part of what I think is because of the criminalized organizations. Oh, really? But um, I find that not a lot of people in my country open their eyes to what's really happening, because they think, you know, it's a side problem, or at least it's part of the problem, but it's not like, the, it's just the head of the iceberg, that's what they think. But it actually is not. Hey man, how you doing? Um, it actually is not, because uh, because you can actually see if you if you go into detail that they are spread everywhere in the politics, and and it's not like okay they are linked to the politics. They are actually in the politics, and at the moment we've got like a new government. It's been a few months already, and it's kind of a right side of like a, a right party, and. For what I can see, because I look and read the news every now and again, and like quite every morning I do, and um, what I find is that um, they're like we are basically going towards a dictatorship. But um, yeah, people is is hard, you know, to convince people what's happening until it really actually happens, yeah. and they open their eyes and they're like, oh wow, it's like we haven't done anything until now, and now this is happening. What we do, and what you do is just try to be honest in your life, just try to report if there's something that goes wrong under your side and you know like not just ignore because what you get told by everybody when since you're a kid in Italy is that just mind your business if something is wrong you are, you just didn't see it you weren't there you know like don't just don't get involved because it might cause you directly problems I would never have guessed that you're into tattoos <laughs> Just love designs, yes. The color though, I don't like plain ones. Do you choose the tattoos before? You... No, I come here and I choose. Oh. Um, how many colors do you want? <laughs> Maybe a couple more. Are they things that express who you are? No. No. Not really. Um, what's the biggest thing you've learned this weekend? Um. 
what's actually happening kind of doesn't matter because only what's going in your head is what's feeding your emotions and your actions. So it's about learning to interpret, step back and try to, um, yeah, not necessarily feel everything. If your perception of reality is just based on your map in your head, then you can make that map whatever you want. You can make your map whatever you want. That's exactly right. And you need to choose to make it what you want. And if you want it to be positive and happy and, you know, the life that you want, then you have the choice to do that. Yeah. Yeah. In, in my imagination, I imagine the Italians to be very friendly people. But did you um, live in a big city or...? I, I'm from a, a small town in okay. Sicily, but I've been living most of my life in Torino. I don't know if you know, but Torino is one hour and a half from Milan. We had the Olympic Games in almost 2006, okay. Winter Olympic Games. It's a pretty big city. you got friendly people, certainly you do, but um, I find that most of Italians are friendlier when they are out of Italy. So when you meet Italians here, they're friendly, they try to help each other, they actually link. And, you know, they have a sense of you know, community, if you can call it like that. Um, but in Italy, it's just like, uh, you know, everybody is, stands for themselves and everybody just looks for themselves. They want, like, you know, I, I need this, all right, I don't care about my friend that is in a bad situation, needs my help, because I got to look and myself first, you know, and yeah, that's the same, that's the common sense in Italy at the yeah. moment, so, yeah, I would say, like, it's not bad, like, it's not like you go in the streets, you walk in the streets, and everybody's gonna try and pick a fight with you, or gonna cause problems, but um, it's just actually the vibe they give you, you know, they look at you in a bad way, like, if you, if you run into a guy that's walking by himself, you're walking by yourself, it's maybe 10, 11 in the night, and this is just nothing happening, you're gonna look at each other, like, mm. Like, you know, stay off, stay yeah. away. And it's, yeah, and I believe it's because everybody, like, majority of people in Italy is not happy. It's not happy for what's happening. It's not happy because having a job is so hard. Finding a job is so hard. And that's why I went away. Because I love my country, you know, don't, like, don't get me wrong. I really love my country. I love, like, the, the view of it. Like, like, I love the architecture. Like, I love the food. I love how some people is welcoming and you know willing to offer and give you and give you the help and share what they have even if it's not much. But I I don't like um, the racism that is going on and that's according to me. There's quite a lot at the moment. Against and who? politic politicians trying to blame the problems of the country on immigrants. Oh, okay. And you know yeah. Yeah. And so the people you know they some people think with their brain and so process information they know okay this yeah I can take this and I can make something out of it you know I can get my own conclusion or I can just watch the TV listen to what they tell me and take it like as it is and all right that's right that's right so okay if they tell me I don't have a job because other people is doing it for less money and no contract then they are you know like I don't want to say a bad word but you know what I mean, like, and that you become angry with immigrants, and you're not gonna like let them in the society. And the way you can grow, you can like the country can grow. Thank you for talking to me. It's cool, man. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that.